I'm Michelle Collins, Certified Nurse Midwife and Professor of Nursing at Vanderbilt University School of Nursing, and I'm going to talk about pelvic station in relation to childbirth. When a woman is in labor, we measure where her baby's at in her pelvis and the progress of its descent by looking at what's called pelvic station. And this is a representation of a woman's pelvis, and on the back of, of our pelvises, we have two little bony landmarks right here and right here called the ischial spines, and this is the tailbone. And so when a woman is in labor, as the baby passes through the pelvis, we measure its relationship in numbers as to where its head at, is at in relationship to those spines. So if a baby's head is, is uh, uh, even with those spines, we call that a zero station. If the baby's head is much higher than those tiny landmarks and floating where when we touch the baby's head it actually moves away from our fingers, we would call that a minus four station. So we start at the highest of minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, meaning that the head has entered the pelvis and is at the level of the ischial spines. And then the numbers turn to positive numbers from plus one, plus two, plus three, all the way to plus four, which is also known as crowning. And that's where the skin of the uh, mother's perineum is surrounding the baby's head like a crown, and the baby is just about ready to be born. So you can just about tell where your baby is at by knowing the numbers of, in the pelvic station, whether your baby is very high in the pelvis, halfway through, or almost ready to be born. Some practitioners use a method of uh, measuring station that is minus four to plus four, and other practitioners may use a system of minus five to plus five. It still means the same thing. The minus numbers mean the baby's head is higher than the landmarks. The plus numbers mean the baby's head is lower. It's just a difference you may see in variation across the country.